Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial for today. I hope all of us are doing okay today. I appreciate you guys for being here with me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything you have done to better my life. I appreciate you guys a lot. And if you are new to this channel, please don't leave without hitting that red icon to subscribe and also touching the notification bell. Okay, for our tutorial today, we're going to be making a simple office dress a simple fitted dress with a front slit okay it's going to be a very quick one before we continue my lovely people do not give anybody that room to steal your joy or your happiness no matter what no matter who that person is you have the key to your happiness and yes people your happiness is not bargainable nobody has right to steal it Nobody has right to take it away. So guard your happiness and your joy jealously. All right? No matter who that person is, no matter what that person does for you, if he or she does not bring happiness and joy into your life, please let the person go. Let's hit the cotton tape. Okay, so we're going to be using this one and a half yards of cotton fabric with the length of 60 inches for our tutorial today. And I'll be cutting the skirts, both the front and the back, together. But this time, because it has a front slit, I'll be leaving zip allowance for both the front and the back skirt. Okay. So I'm folding my fabric into four. Okay, so now this time there is no separate zipper allowance. The front and the back are going to be of the same measurement because I'll be using the zipper allowance at the front for the joining and the slit area. Okay. So for our skirt, the length is 27. Twenty-seven. I'm going to be making it twenty-nine. That is two inches allowance. Okay. If you can see this. Okay. Now my waist measurement is 29 divided into four. Since my fabric is folded in four places, it will give us seven and quarter. I'm removing two inches zipper allowance. Okay. I hope you understand me. This zipper allowance is both at the front and also at the back. So I have to mark these two inches down. My waist is seven and quarter. I'll be adding three inches extra. Two for allowance and one for that, which will leave us here. Okay. I'll use nine inches for my hip line. So on my hip line, I'm going to place my hip measurement, which is 40 divided into two. Sorry, into four will give us 10 plus two inches seam allowance. Okay. So I'm connecting the waist to the hip all right i will drag the hip measurement down to the hemline that is 12 inches 12 inches 12 inches now here is our length this other one is the allowance. So I'm moving in here by one and a half inches. Then I'll connect it also to my hip measurement. Okay. So we now have something like this. I will cut it out. Okay. 
so this is what we have for both the front and the back panel okay i'm now going to put away the back panel and work with the front panel okay now this i'm going to be dividing it into three equal parts all right and the slit is going to be on the left side okay all right so this is a front skirt block divided into three equal parts i'm going to extend this marking to a straight line and with that done I will also cut it out. Okay, so for the front, sorry, for the upper part, I'm going to be cutting both the front and the back together. So I'll be folding my fabric into four places. First into two and then into two again. I'll also be leaving a zipper allowance of one and a half inches. Okay. A half length is 16 so I'll be adding one inch extra for seam allowance okay my shoulder is 8 inches armhole is 8 and a half inches Bust is 33 divided into 4 will give us 8 and quarter. I will add 2 inches to my allowance. And then our waist is 29 divided into 4 will give us 7 and quarter. I'll be adding 3 inches, 1 for that, and then for 2 for our seam allowance. Okay. Okay, so I'm also taking my 3 inches standard for shoulder slope. For my shoulder slope, I'll use half inch. So I'll connect it to my 3 inches. And then for my neckline, I'll use 3.5 inches. And for the volume of my neckline, I'll be using five and a half inches for the front. For the front, and then for the back, I'll be using two and a half inches. Okay. So I'll just curve all into a neck shape. Like so. Okay. And then with this done, I'll just proceed to cut. First, I'll be cutting the back neckline like so. All right. And then I'll remove the front neck. So this is it for the upper part. So I will proceed now using my bias, tape this neckline of both the front and the back panel, insert my dart, also insert my dart at the skirt block. Okay, so now, as you can see, I've used the bias to tape the neckline of both the front and the back panels. Okay, I've also inserted the dart. And then for the back skirt, I inserted the dart as well. 
Okay, so for the front panel for the slit, remember the zip allowance we added was two inches. Okay, so it means we are taking two inches on this side, two inches on this side also. This is what I mean. You place it like so, and then you sew using two inches. I hope I'm well understood. You have to maintain that two inches of zip allowance we added while we were cutting. Okay, so after we have sewn it, I will now insert the dart on the other side. Okay. All right, so I have stitched it together as you can see. Okay. I've also inserted the dart on the other side. The best way to do this is to use, since you've inserted your dart in the upper panel, in the front panel, all you need to do is to place it against each other to get the exact point where you are supposed to insert the dart on the lower skirt block. I hope you understood me so that the start the dart will be on a straight line. Okay. Now looking at the lower part, if you want your slit to be an overlap, I hope you can see it. If you want your slit to be an overlap, all you need to do is to close it up here. Finish the rough edges, either with your bias or whatever. You can also fold it and it becomes overlap okay but my client wants it open so what i'm going to do is this i'm going to open it up like so so this one i would like to leave one inch only here i hope you understand me i would like to leave just one inch remaining because at the end of the day i will still sew it on top of my fabric all right so i will open it up like so fold it making sure that what i have left after the fold is one inch on both sides when i fold i will sew it okay i'll first sew it down okay turn it over and then make sure this point is firmly held this place where the joining end is firmly held i can as well put another very strong stitch on top of it okay so i'll go to the machine open it up and sew it and fold it and sew leaving one inch okay so now i've made my stitch remaining only one inch I hope you can see it so the next thing i'll do is to still top stitch on top of this place just to make sure this one is firmly held i'm going to do it all the way down to the hemline okay and then when i'm through i will now tack this point this end of the slit i'll make sure i tack it very well all right all right so i have stitched it on top of my fabric as you can see i can no longer lift it but it is optional though if you like you can forget about doing this okay i have also carefully tacked the end of my slit just to make sure it does not tear okay now the next thing will be to add to join both the upper part and the lower part together the waistline i will do so I'll join the front together. I'll also join the back panels together. Okay. All right, so with the joining done, the next thing will be to close up the zipper area. I mean the down part. Now, since our dress has a slit at the front, there's not going to be any slit at the back. Okay, so I will take my normal 7 inches from the waistline down, start my measurement from the 7 inches all the way down to the hemline. There's not going to be any slit at the back. Remember, our zip allowance was 2 inches, so I'm going to maintain that as I close it up. So this is it. I've closed it up. I've also inserted the zip. Okay, so the next thing will just be to place the front panel against this one and join them at the shoulder first then close up the two sides using the body measurement okay i'll proceed to do just that i'm sure you know how to do it i'll join the front 
at the shoulder here and then I'll close the two sides up using our body measurement. Okay, so now having joined them at the two sides, I also closed the hemline, I folded it. So I'll just proceed to insert the sleeve and that will be all. Okay, lovely people, this is our finished product. I'm also going to go ahead and attach these buttons like so just the same way i placed them they are just there for beautification all right thank you very much for sticking with me till this time i appreciate you guys a lot and i hope to see you guys subsequently take very good care of yourself till then and don't forget to keep your head held high bye i love you